Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to replace the clutch assembly on the Samsung washer and a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. For this repair, disconnect power and water supply to the washer. Also, make sure that all the water inside the washer is drained out, as we'll need to tip the washer on its side. The most common reason to replace the clutch is due to the internal bearings failing. When the bearings fail, the washer may become unbalanced or noisy during the spin cycle, it may leak water, or it may not agitate or spin properly. First thing that we'll need to do is access the back side of the washer to access the two screws that hold the top cover down. With the two screws removed, we'll now access the front side of the washer and tape the lid closed. Now using a putty knife approximately six inches in on each side, depress the locking clip while lifting up to release the top. With the top released, we'll now need to lift up on the back side of the top cover while pushing it forward to release it from this clip. On the other side, we'll do the same thing. We'll lift up on the back while pushing it forward and the top is now released. Now lift up on the top cover and pull it forward slightly so it overhangs off the front a couple of inches. Lift up and use something to prop it open. Next, we'll remove the pulsator by using a flat blade screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket. Next, remove the pulsator cap by inserting a flat blade screwdriver and prying up to remove. Now remove the bolt. If the pulsator spins, hold it in place with your other hand. With the bolt removed, insert your flat blade screwdriver into one of the slots and lift up to remove. Now using a Phillips screwdriver, we'll remove the eight mounting screws that hold down the top cover. The two back screws may be difficult to access. You may need someone to help you prop open the top while you remove them. With the screws removed, you can now lift off the tub cover and set it aside. Next, we'll use a pipe wrench to remove the tub nut. You'll need a pipe wrench that's about 10 inches long. That way it doesn't hit the tub. The tub nut has reverse threads, so you'll need to turn it clockwise to remove it. With one hand, grasp the tub to hold it in place while using your other hand to hit the pipe wrench to break the nut free. With the tub nut removed, we can now remove the inner tub of the washer by lifting up on it to remove it you may need a second person to help you hold the top open while you do this. If it doesn't come free right away, try shaking it back and forth or jarring it to remove it. If yours is stuck in place like ours is, it may be corroded and stuck in place if that's the case, you may need to use some penetrating oil and let it soak overnight to help it loosen up, or use a rubber mallet to try to tap it and jar it free. Since our inner tub is stuck in place right now, we're going to skip this step and proceed to the bottom. We'll put the top cover back in place temporarily while we do this. Lower the top cover back down. Align this pin with this hole. 
lift up on the back of the washer while you slide it this way. On the other side, do the same thing, align the pin with the hole. Lift up on the rear while sliding back. Now push down on the front to lock it back in place. And we'll reinstall one of the screws to temporarily hold it back in place. We'll now tip the washer on its side. The washer is heavy, you may need a second person to help you do this. This will give us access to the bottom so we can finish removing the clutch. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we'll remove the two bolts holding on this bracket. Now, slightly bend one side of the bracket to remove it from the slot, then pull it out of the other slot to remove it. Next, using a 17 millimeter socket, remove this nut and the two washers. Now grasp the rotor, pull it towards you to remove it. If this piece is stuck on the rotor, use a socket and a hammer to remove it. Now remove the two electrical plugs on the side of the stator. Squeeze the clips on the side while pulling out to remove. Now remove this electrical plug by squeezing the locking clip on the back side and removing it. Now remove the five stator bolts with a 10 millimeter socket. With the last bolt removed, you can now pull it off to remove it and carefully set it aside. Next, remove the cotter pin on the clutch arm and then slide the clutch motor retainer off of the arm. Next, using a 13 millimeter socket, we'll remove the six mounting bolts for the clutch. With the bolts removed, grab onto the clutch and pull it towards you to see if it will remove. If it's still stuck in place, you may need to tip the washer back up and try to hammer it out from the top. Before flipping the washer back up, use a piece of cardboard to set down on the floor to protect it so when the clutch falls out, it doesn't damage your floor. If you have a rubber mallet, try using that to tap it loose. If that doesn't work, use a scrap piece of wood and a hammer. If it won't come loose by hammering on the block of wood, you can hammer directly on the shaft of the clutch. Beware that when you do this, it may damage the shaft and it won't be able to be reused. With some more hammering and penetrating oil, we've now loosened up the splines from the inner tub to the clutch, and we can see that by lifting up on the tub, but it's now loose. Since the clutch didn't fall down on its own, we'll now remove the inner tub and then go back to the bottom to remove the clutch. Now we'll reattach the top and flip the machine back over to access the bottom. Grab onto both sides of the clutch and pull it towards you while wiggling back and forth to release the tub seal. 
and there it is free. Here's the old clutch assembly next to the new one. On the old one, you can see that the tub seal is worn out. When the tub seal wears out, water will start to leak through here, which will then ruin the bearings inside the clutch assembly. If you have a bad clutch assembly and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You wanna make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on the washer to make sure you get the correct part. If you have a bad tub seal, in most cases, it's not sold separately. It's only sold as part of the clutch assembly. Also, the tub seal is only designed to be used once, so if you pull the clutch out, you should replace the clutch assembly. Before installing the new clutch assembly, we'll want to make sure that the opening that the tub seal goes into is cleaned thoroughly. To install the clutch assembly, align the arm with the clutch motor, insert it into the tub, and press in while wiggling it back and forth. Once it starts to seat, start hand threading the bolts into place. Next, we'll start to tighten the bolts down in a cross pattern to seat the tub seal evenly, and then we'll fully tighten them in the same cross pattern. Next, reinstall the plastic retainer from the clutch motor onto the clutch arm. Then, reinstall the cotter pin. Next, reinstall the stator by aligning the electrical connections and the bolt holes. Start the bolts by hand. Then tighten the bolts in place in a cross pattern. And then reinstall the two electrical connectors. Now install the rotor by aligning the splines removing the thread protector, and reinstalling the washers and the nut. Now install the bracket by inserting it into one of the slots, slightly bending the other side, and putting it in place. Then reinstall the two mounting screws. With everything put together on the bottom, we'll now flip the washer back up and finish on the top. With the washer flipped back up, we'll now open the top back up so we can inspect the tub seal and put the tub back in place. Inspect the tub seal to make sure that everything is seated properly in place. If it looks good, then we can reinstall the tub. Now lift the top up and grab the tub. And set it back in place. Make sure that the splines on the tub are seated with the splines on the clutch assembly. Then reinstall the washer 
followed by the knot. Remember, it's reverse threads, so it'll thread on backwards. Tighten it by hand, and then finish tightening it with a wrench. Now reinstall the tub cover by aligning this notch with the notch on the tub. Next, reinstall the pulsator. Start the bolt by hand. And finish tightening with a socket wrench. Then, reinstall the pulsator cap by aligning the three notches with the three tabs and locking it back in place. With the pulsator reinstalled, we can now lower the top back down for the final time and secure it back in place. Now peel the tape off. With everything put back together, test the washer out to make sure that there aren't any leaks and that everything's working properly. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.